Have have you seen? Did you see the video of the PGA pro golfer? Here's the funny thing. So many people will mansplaining is not a thing. And don't get me wrong. I have been called a mansplainer for like, it's so funny when somebody accuses you of mansplaining, but they're wrong about what the definition of mansplaining is. Mm. And you're like, and I so can't. Then you must mansplain the definition to them. Exactly. So do I acknowledge that not everybody uses the term correctly? Yes, I do. But this video is the perfect illustration of it. Did I already, did you already answer whether you've seen this or not? No, I haven't seen it. All right. So she is a PGA it's... pro golfer. This girl golfs. She knows how to golf. And she is going through what is called a swing change. From what I understand, a swing change is kind of what it sounds like. That right now she swings with a certain method. She's trying to adjust that method. So as you adjust, you slow things down and try to do the new method correctly as opposed to trying to do it fast uh, the way it will yeah. be when it's done. So this is, uh, uh, this is, let me, let me turn the volume up to make sure this is the interaction that follows. And so you can see the caption here. So the guy next to me tried to give me swing advice. So she comes up, she, is that where the thing starts? Okay. She does a whack, which by the way, to me, I'm like, that whack seems great. He comes up, says, excuse me. Give it up. Should be right to chain follow through. So the, the audio is also very quiet, but he's come up and he said, you shouldn't be doing it like that. You need to swing and follow through. You're going to slow on the way up. You're going to slow on the way up. And then I'm, back. I'm going to, um, I'm going through a swing change up a minute. So I have this and I'm walking the bear is this you coming back to. So she just said, I'm going through a swing change at the moment, which Irish accents are so cute. Uh, but I but I said that and realized this might be Scottish. I don't I'm going through a swing change at the moment. That's great. That's Scottish. Yeah, yeah. This is a Scottish person, I think. Maybe I, I don't know. People Maybe. might correct me. Uh anyway, um he literally says, No, I know, but there's but what you're doing there is he says, No, I know, which is so you clearly don't know. You didn't actually listen to what she just said. Just that she said something. So you're trying to pretend you listen to acknowledge. Because if you had heard swing change, you would have gone, oh, that makes sense. I'm sorry. I'm going to go fuck off. But I said, no, I know. But that's but what you're doing there is, let's see, you're coming back too slow. What you need to do is, is, what you need to do is, is follow through a lot quicker. Yeah. So, I mean... I'm going through a sign change at the minute, so with that, I'm just making everything fed. Skip, I'm sorry. Literally, she just tries to repeat it again, and he's like, just hit one, what just hit one look, I said, just hit one. Hit one look, I said. I would hit him one time, like he said. So she shows she can do a pro shot if she wants to do a pro shot, which, but it's funny, because he is not going to do what you think. He's going to take credit for her good <laughs> shot now. Yeah, thank you. I don't think that was... Yeah. No, I'm actually going to do a swing change. I'm going to surf and Do you feel it? Do you feel uh, how bad that, that is? I don't know whether you see... You watch golf, the best players in the world, when they are making a, a practice swing or they're going through a change. What I'm saying is, I, I've played box. You so... Uh, <laughs> she's trying to explain to him, like, this is what golfers oh, do. And he goes, he no, 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 I hear you. I'm just saying, I've been playing golf for 20 years. She is a PGA pro golfer he i can hear i look i don't ask me to explain it but i can hear that he has a sandwich in his hand <laughs> he's definitely a big guy with a sandwich no but i've been playing for 20 years okay and i'm gonna tell you this is liverpool really interesting need to fall through see how much better that one just see how much better that it's one was <laughs> Thank you. I would be like, please go away. Yeah. Like, why she, is he watching her? She literally just goes, thank you for it. And then presumably he fucks off. And so when I tried to emphasize at the beginning, be adults, ignore the butt. My theory is he wouldn't, didn't ignore the butt. And he thought, of course, a way to get into that butt. I'm going for the butt, lads. Let's go. So anyway, this is like the most perfect example of mansplaining I think I've ever seen ever. No, it's 100%. It makes me think of, 
they're, you know, the classic example, I'll be at the gym and there's been times in the past where a dude comes up and they help me with my form and they fuck off. And they was like helpful. They're just like, hey, pull it up here. Don't go all the way up, whatever, so that you keep your bicep to engage. And I'm like, okay, cool. Leave. There was this one dude. I was doing lap pull downs, which I've done a trillion bajillion times. And I have a personal trainer who has taught me how to do them. He starts telling me to do them quite literally like the wrong way where it wouldn't be engaging the right muscle and then just stays there. <laughs> and he was like, he's just leaning up against the machine and he's just staying there. And he goes, I haven't seen you here before. And I'm like, no, I normally come at a different time of day. And he was like, oh, cool. He's like, what time is that? And I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Not and, your and time. I am literally not your time and i literally just was like i don't feel like talking right now and he was like okay and i was like bye like, <laughs> it just it was so uncomfortable that he's coming over with the guys of adjusting my thing and that tries to figure out exactly what time i'm coming to the gym i just when people talk like that i always wonder if you're hearing yourself what makes you think this isn't creepy because it's incredibly creepy I feel like I want to make jokes that you and I know each other well, so I know you wouldn't think I was actually, but I was literally just the, the inclination to go like, wow, Sarah, kind of sounded like you were being a bitch. Uh, knowing you'd be like, that's obviously not the fucking case. It's, it is funny because like you even mentioned the guys who did give you good advice, but I'm sitting here as somebody who's like, bad advice or good advice? Ask first. Do not presume yeah. it should always be like, and I, there are times where I'll realize in a conversation about something that I'm like, well, I would blah, blah, blah. And then I'll apologize. I'm like, Hey, I'm sorry. I, you didn't actually ask for that advice. And most of the time people will be like, yeah, but we know each other. And, and I know, you know, production and that's welcome. But most yeah. of the time, if I'm going to give advice, I will always say something like, Hey, if you are interested in my input, I have some advice for this, but if you're not totally cool. Because I genuinely feel that way, too. Like, when people want to give me yeah. advice about production, and then they start use, they're like, well, if you would do this, this, and this, and they're listing off equipment that's literally incompatible with the way we do shit, and I'm sitting here like, yeah. bro, I get it. You know one way things are done well. I'm a production god. <laughs> that's what god. I say to them. I'm a god. And I know why your specific thing, but they, it's funny because they get so upset when you like just try to explain like, hey, I oh, I hear you. That's like fun or whatever. But like that actually doesn't work for me. And I felt like her that 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 Liverpoolian of the like and they're just like ignoring. No, I know. I know. But what you got to do is here's the thing. I've got advice and it comes from my balls. No. It's coming right from my testicles. And you got to listen this to God given it. package full of knowledge. Do you yeah, see me? I've got a BLT. Sorry. <laughs> a BLT. I've got a, you have to Honestly, listen. I've got one. I don't think they have BLTs. When I when I went to Ireland, I know this isn't Ireland, but I just the the no, I don't think they have anything quite as people are gonna get mad at me as flavored as a BLT. What it what he <laughs> has in his hand is a cheese and onion sandwich. I got which is haggis a thing over there. I've got haggis <laughs> in a pouch. I got haggis in a pouch with a straw. A I put some crackers. I put some crisps on top. People are gonna crucify you. <laughs> of course. So haggis. In a... Hag haggis in a with I a straw my... with some crisps. I put my haggis in a condom. <laughs> so That's the food they eat in Ireland. Is haggis in a condom with a straw? <laughs> Oh my god! You know what? <laughs> that probably would have invented some of the shit I did. With it's, it's fucking a beautiful crazy. country, though. Beautiful and country. Delicious chocolate throughout the UK, but everything else they make there is fucking dog shit. And if, if you look, like they're like, oh, but London has so many Michelin chefs. What do you have to say about that? Oh, what about all those Michelin stars in London? Go look at the Michelin stars in London. It's always like a French restaurant or an Indian restaurant. Literally none of it mm. is local British cuisine. There's no Michelin fish and chips. There's none of that shit. And I by love the way, some fish and chips. But yeah. 
But I like tan foods also that are deep fried. I don't like fish, but uh, I want to eat any seafood. It's more of a mental thing than a taste thing. But um, it's just fucking the whole my mother's British. She would boil cabbage. Yeah. I had so much boiled shit. And I mean, Ireland isn't the UK unless you're in Northern Ireland. But it, I had so much boiled shit. I, I have never had so many things boiled. I had mushrooms that were boiled. I couldn't I, I couldn't believe the texture that entered my mouth. <laughs> it was unreasonable. And it is this, so, is this rubber? It's, it's like you're chewing on a poly pocket dress. It was horrible. Am I eating weather stripping? Um, Oh, weather stripping. Do we insulate our windows with this? It was so fucked up. I had a few really good things, but for the most part, I was just horrified. And people kept telling me about something called a spice bag when I got back. I don't know what that is. I'm going to have to research the spice bag, but I will bring be bringing spices the next time I go. <laughs> you have to. <laughs> that, you have that, to. That part of the world. And you're like, really guys, be, though. guys, <laughs> vinegar is not a spice, you idiots. No, okay. there and there were vinegar packets at every restaurant, which yeah. I eventually was like, "That's better than nothing." Truly, and they did not mustard anywhere, which surprised me. It, it does make it better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The vinegar is for the chips, for the chippies, chippies. Okay. I did put it on some meat. I I would too. Fucking, I would just die in Ireland. I think I would. I think I could figure out how to survive in England, especially because they have a lot of like American shops too, where you can go and buy. I don't know, normal American stuff, but Ireland, I think I would like step into Ireland and take a hike and then leave. Like, I hope there's good hiking it, on the border. There's so much. It's truly one of the most pleasant places I've ever been besides the cuisine. Yeah, it's beautiful. So clean, so friendly, gorgeous. People you can stay really in funny. a castle for like 20 bucks a night. Shit's crazy. It's really surprisingly cheap to stay in a castle. There's also just ruins of castles and monasteries and churches everywhere from the medieval era. It's really incredible. You're just in a regular neighborhood, turn the corner, and there's a castle. Yeah. So uh, unreal. But the food was so upsetting. The food on the plane was better than 90% of what I ate in Ireland. And the food on the plane was not great. I'm looking forward so, to shitting this because that'll smell better. <laughs> 